see you. I'll be coming and coming up. Oh. Beard versus blade. <laughs> All right, so guys, I am, I guess I'm wearing about a two week old beard. And I just took my first trip since COVID and I went to Las Vegas. I'll be putting bits of that trip in this video, including a preview of my first auto review for 2021. It's the Mazda CX-30, an awesome little crossover, which I will be posting soon. I'm getting back into the car game, guys, because I'm traveling again. But since I was traveling and I was out and about at a trade show with a lot of people. What are your impressions of the ISC show 2021? there was the opportunity or the need to wear a mask and a beard with a mask, no bueno. And because I have a shaving channel, it's time to shave. So today I'm going to be shaving with a vintage razor and a modern razor, adjustable both. This is the Gillette 195 or AKA the fat boy. And this is the Vikings blade Emperor Augustus. They're both adjustable double edged razors. What do I mean by that? You can adjust the aggressiveness of the razor to suit your individual needs. I'll be doing that today to take this beard off, shave wars. What's better vintage or modern? We'll figure it out. And guys, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> we'll figure that out today. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna set the adjustment on both blades to their most aggressive setting. So on the fat boy, it goes up to a setting of nine. You see right there on that collar, nine down to one. And on the Emperor Augustus, I'm gonna put the setting at the max setting, which would probably be 10. So you get one more gear on the new blade. I'll be using the fat boy on this side of my face and I'll be using the Emperor Augustus on this side. The modern version of a fat boy, let's say. Really nice and hearty, long handle, lots of great grooves or knurling, beautiful brass and like a black plate. Just very nice, elegant, long handle, hefty, beautiful. Look at that. It's just a nice piece for your shave den, double edge shave den. Link in the description box below so you can pick this up. All right, the Gillette Fat Boy sent to me by my boy Jimmy G, the shaving connoisseur. Very hefty handle, beautiful knurling on this. Brandy new, it was sparkling clean. I might get it replated. But again, you've got your adjustable ring, solid piece. This was and is a vintage icon. Beautiful. And I want to thank Jimmy G for sending this to me again. So let's get right into it. I've been lathering up with my boy, Mark Fuentes's Sterling Soap Campagna. Beautiful. Let's open this up and show it to you. Look at that, guys. All right. So I've been working a lather with that. And let's get right to it. So beautiful lather. Oh yeah, using my Pacific shaving brush, their cork handled shaving brush with the beautiful synthetic badger hair. Oh, very nice. So let's get to cooking. Let's get cooking. A little near hot water. Now I just jumped out of the shower, so I'm just applying a little near hot water to make sure the pores are still open and ready to rock and roll, but let's get cracking. I'll apply this foam. Oh yeah. Sterling soap, guys. Just beautiful. Oh. Mark Fuentes is my man. I really appreciate this, my man. It's been a great soap to shave with. 
lathers up nice. You got to work it a little bit, but well worth the work. Look at that, guys. Ah. So another thing with the Emperor Augustus, there are two sides, uh, a scallop side. You see that scalloping? And a flat side. So I'm going to go with their max setting. The scallop side is their more aggressive side. So this is the most aggressive shave offered by this razor. And let's get to it. So going first pass with the grain of the hair on my face, short strokes, 35 degree, 30, 35 degree angle, short strokes, and having no problems with that long stubble, guys. Get a nice sharp edge on that goatee if I wanted to keep it. Just using the scallop side, I can switch over if I want and use the plain side. Again, the plain or flat side is less aggressive in that setting, but I'm at the most aggressive setting. And I felt it there. Take your time. Little nick up there. I'm using King C Gillette blades, which are a nice milder blade. So if you're a noob, if you're, or you just like a, a light touch, the King C Gillette brand of blades is a nice place to start. And I'm taking my time because this is really aggressive, really sharp. And I don't want to nick myself up too badly on camera. See all the stubble, guys? And a nice weeper. I felt it right away. Really, really aggressive, guys. So you really want to take your time and work it. All right. First pass for the Viking blade in the books. Now let's head over to our fat boy. Again, I'm on the most aggressive setting with the fat boy. I can use both sides because they're the same. There's no plain or scallop side, so it'll make for easier rinsing or less rinsing. Very, very nice, guys. Just look at that, all that long stubble. But no, no tugs, no nicks. So far, just smooth. Nice smooth line again on that goatee. And I wanna take my time. I don't wanna have another weeper. if I can avoid more weepers. Really just take your time with that shave. Let's uh, rinse off with some warm water and we'll take a look at the goatee. Now there we go. Goatee looking pretty cool. Nice shave guys, nice shave guys, very comparable. Pretty even that first pass, but I will have to say in round one, I will say the fat boy took the hair off smoother, quicker, easier, with less fear, and with no weeper. So I still have that weeper on the uh, Vikings blade side. But you know, I'm not gonna stick. I'm not gonna stick with. But you know, guys, I'm not gonna stick with the goatee. I'm gonna take it off. Take the goatee off. Should I take the goatee off? We'll leave the goatee. How about that? All right. Pass number two is going to be a cross grain pass. I'll apply more of this beautiful campagna. Lather. 
Uh, nice soap. Has a lemony smell to it, guys. It's got a nice slickness to it. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And we'll go back to our Emperor Augustus. Double-edged razor. Now I'm going to drop down to the mid-range, which is about their six. And we'll do a cross grain pass. Cross grain again. We want to do short strokes. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Good heft to this razor or to the handle. Oh, very nice. And just take your time. You can flip that onto the flat side to do the neck. Really take your time, guys. Because you can make a mistake and really nick yourself up on that cross grain. Very nice cross grain pass in the books. You can take it all the way up to that goatee line. Nice, beautiful. So now I've opened the razor up to adjust it on this old school model. And I'm gonna drop it down to their mid, which is a five. And we'll go with a cross grain pass with the Gillette. Nice. Feel that or hear that uh, feedback. Very, very nice. You got two sides, use them. I feel like I have more control with the fat boy. With the vintage blade, I just feel a little bit more control. It's a little less hefty, so it's lighter. So maybe that's it. Or maybe it's just the, the design. Don't break it if it's not fixed. <laughs> Don't fix it if it's not broken. Classic design. In the books. Second pass in the books. A little more near hot water. And we're going to go for our last, our third and final. We'll go for our third and final pass. And this will be an against the grain pass. So we started with. With grain, our second pass was cross grain, and our third pass will be against the grain on the least aggressive or the most mild setting. Just what I like to call the get right pass. You're gonna get right on that final pass. Soak is nice, soap is nice and slick. Beautiful smell, so good. Thanks again to my boy, Mark Fuentes. All right, so we're gonna take this down. And we're gonna go all the way down to a one on the flat side. And we're gonna flip the blade and we're gonna shave up or against the grain. Just a whisper pass, guys. It's whispering by to make sure we get right. Oh yeah, very nice. Adam's apple trick. If you have a pronounced Adam's apple like I do, you could try to shave around it by pulling the skin. But another way to do it is to swallow hard. And when you hold it, that Adam's apple gets pulled in and you can shave it flat. So here we go. Swallow hard, hold it. And you take that Adam's apple out of the way. 
very mild pass. So that's what I love about the adjustable razor. You can set it to whatever floats your boat. And that's very, very nice. Let's come over to our fat boy. Again, we have to open it up, not to damage the mechanism. And I'm gonna drop this down to a one as well. So the lowest setting, close it up. And we're gonna do our against grain cut. Again, we'll flip the blade. And again, a get right pass. Nice, easy. Very, very nice, guys. I'm gonna have to say, right here, the more enjoyable shave is the vintage Fat Boy. It wasn't and isn't an icon for no reason. There's a reason. This is a beautiful shave. I like my Emperor Augustus. It's just a beautifully designed, ornate razor. But when it comes down to performance, I'm going to have to go with Jimmy G's Fat Boy. Beautiful. Beautiful. No nicks, no tugs, no pulls. It knocks the new guy. Come on. It knocks the new guy off the block. Average guy tested. Average guy approved. And unfortunately, I don't have a link for this. eBay. Etsy. Etsy. Whatever it is. Look for these. Uh, vintage shops. If you can find a fat boy, get one for your collection. All right. I'm going to rinse off now, guys, with cold water. That'll close the pores. And uh, I'll get ready for the aftershave. Again, my boy Mark Fuentes sent me the campagna, the companion to the soap. Thank you, Mark. You're a good man. And I've really enjoyed this, these products. Also, my boy sent me their body wash soap. Oh, that body wash is wonderful. So get over to Sterling Soap Company. I don't believe I have a link on Amazon to that, so I'll have to give you a link to Sterling Soap's website so you can check out their products. Wonderful products, guys. Awesome. Ah, oh, that burns so nicely. Gets in there and really... Ah. So guys, when it comes to double-edged razors, you know what? Vintage beats modern in this version of Shave Wars. But guys, it's just great fun to try different razors and different soaps and just have a good time with it. And definitely, if you can get yourself a vintage Gillette Fat Boy, you better try to do it. Put it in your shave den and you'll love it. So guys, that's it for today. I'll see you next time, which will probably be like, tomorrow or the next day when I get rid of this. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now I'll leave you with some sights and sounds of my latest trip from Vegas. And of course, the outro music. Roll the music.